Hey gang, Drex here from DrexFactor.com and I wanted to talk to you all today about a brand new feature that Instagram rolled out about a week ago. It's called Albums. I've had a little bit of time to play with it and I wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that I've learned. Before we dive in, I just want to take a quick minute to thank the friends of the channel. Dark Monk specializes in researching and designing spinning arts equipment personalized to the artist. They make equipment for a wide variety of flow arts props, including both fire and practice options, and they want to help you find and design your next prop so it can be an extension of your art. Find them on the web at dark-monk.com. Spinball seeks to promote the art form of poi through quality equipment at affordable prices. They feel that the benefits of this activity are numerous, including improved confidence, coordination, and health. Find them on the web at spinballspoi.com. Big thanks to Dark Monk and Spinballs for making the videos on this channel possible. Now on with the show. So first and foremost, what are Instagram albums? Albums are essentially a feature that allows you to bundle together multiple photos and or video into a single post. The feature reminds me a bit of Stories, the Snapchat-like function that Instagram added last year, but it allows a group of posts to remain a permanent part of your Instagram feed rather than disappearing after 24 hours. You can add up to 10 pieces of media to an album, whether they be photos or video, and you navigate through them by swiping back and forth. It's a feature that's been available to advertisers for quite some time now on the platform, but is only now becoming available to the average user. So here's how you go about using it. Start by creating a post by clicking on that little plus button at the bottom of the Instagram app, and it'll bring you to the media selection screen that we all know and love. There's a new button at the bottom right of the preview window that looks like a couple sheets of paper stacked on top of each other. This enables an album. Go ahead and touch it and the media you currently have selected will now display a little blue number in the upper right hand corner. Touch any other media you'd like to add to the album and you'll see numbers added to them that reflect their placement within the album. Next you'll be given the option to place a filter on any of the individual media files that you added to your album. Finally, you finish up your post with a standard caption and share interface. Crucially, you do not get the option to trim a video. This is important and we'll revisit it again in a moment. It takes a bit longer to post an album because you're posting multiple pieces of content at the same time. Once it does go live though, your followers will see the first item in your album along with a series of small dots underneath corresponding to each item in the album. They can navigate by swiping left and right. So let's talk limitations and best practices for a second. One big thing to keep in mind, since there's no interface to trim down video clips that you might have added to an album, trying to add a video that is more than a minute long will either freeze or crash the app. If you're going to add videos, I highly recommend running them through some video editing software to trim them down to a minute before adding them to an album. Next, using albums disables both the boomerang as well as aspect ratio functions. If you're posting video, make sure the stuff you want to highlight is always in center frame. Finally, the share functions to Facebook are a little weird. I have my Instagram set to automatically repost anything I do in the app to my Facebook page, but this automation doesn't work with albums. I can force an album to reshare, but it winds up being individual videos rather than an album or playlist of them. If anybody from Facebook is out there watching, getting all the videos automatically added to a playlist would be awesome. So now, how do you get the best use out of albums? First, you should really think of the first item in your album as being a thumbnail. A person should be able to tell everything they need to know about your content by looking at it, especially because it may be buried amongst a number of other thumbnails while somebody is following through a hashtag or using the explore function. Second, because this feature is so new, it's probably a good idea to give your audience some instruction. In the thumbnail video for a tutorial I uploaded yesterday, I specifically tell people to swipe right in order to continue with the tutorial. Next, make sure to include that this is an album in your hashtag, such as using something like hashtag tag IG album. It's hard to say just yet, but there may be people who are interested in this specific type of content for whatever reason and will explore hashtags that specifically mention albums. Targeting them will help you out with discovery. That's all I got for now. I'm going to keep on using these in the next few months and probably post updates depending upon what I find. What are your experiences creating or checking out Instagram albums? Let me know down in the comments. For now, thanks so much for watching and enjoy the flow. Peace. Hey there, thanks so much for watching my video. If you got anything out of it, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help it grow. Special thanks to all of my wonderful backers on Patreon. You guys are the ones that make these videos possible. If you're not a current backer and would like to sign up to support my channel, please visit patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. Thanks so much in advance.